This daylight savings thing sucks. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning, but it's still so dark out. Sebring, which is pretty much the absolute middle of nowhere. Now we have to go find a place to buy some tickets and try and get in. Well, apparently we're right here. This is the ticket booth. Let's see if we can test drive a Corvette. A, a YouTube channel and I do mostly Ford stuff. Oh. I have a Mustang and a Ford guy, but um, a lot of people, you know, comment and say how I hate the Corvette. So it's gonna be kind of funny. I mean, the Cor—I don't hate the Corvette at all. I like the Corvette a lot, but <laughs> but just because people are so like, you know, uh, they get Ford right shit, exactly, you know? exactly. You can't like both. All right, so you got all your everything is right here. Is touch touch screen. Yep. You are in a Z51 package Corvette 19. Eight, nine, I mean 2018 Stingray. So, Alright, so you're going to put your foot on the brake, hit the start button. Now all as right. you can see, everything's going to light up for you. On your control panel there, you have different driving modes you can put in it. If you look right there in the center right there, yep. if you look at your screen right there, you will have a T, S Sport. Okay. T for a track. Yep. Go back, and you also have an economy, and then you also have a weather. So you have five different drive modes you can drive. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll take you in track. Cool. Oh. Yeah, economy was probably not the right choice. For well, no, not on this one. <laughs> <Not> on <laughs> there you go. There's track for you, Thanks. so you're good to go on track. Cool. The touch ability right there. Yeah, the interior in here is beautiful. Yeah. So what we're going to do is you've already driven once. Yep. You know, what vehicle did you drive before? I drove the Bolt. Okay, well, there's a nice electric all Yeah, very nice. So you know the rules. You know you're going to follow whatever I actually do. But other than that, you should be fine. Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and write this and stop sign. Yeah, even the automatic, it's got right. a nice weight to it when you shift the gears. As you here. can see now, you also have actually three cameras. Oh, cool. Here. So you have the front spoiler that helps you with the front end and the back yep. end. Oh, cool. So if you don't miss anything that you can't see because the front before you move, you'll see. Right. All right, you're going to stop right here. You're sure. going to do the same thing. Go around the curve, get out of your lane, get back in your lane, and stop at that stop sign. Sure. Can I give it a little gas? You can give it what you want. Hit it. That gives you a little ability to say that you didn't notice it didn't fish tail, it didn't even swerve, it just bites to the ground and takes it. Right. Now you go ahead and get your S curve here. Oh yeah, it grips. It grips, grips really well. Really there you go. Take the next one. And yeah, stop sign right there. Yeah. There you go. Well that's fun. What Thanks. Do you think? Yeah, oh, it's, it handles. It sounds great too. And if you do, if you notice, you put her in park, and then once we go, go ahead and put her in park, rev it up right there, and you feel one, now when you do, when you change your mode, you're going to change the filters on it, now go ahead and do it, with the weather, it changes it. Oh, wow, yeah. Does that open the valves up when you put it back in the track mode? Yeah, it opens the valves back up. So you, so you wow. All right. That sounds great. Thanks yeah, a lot, I appreciate well. it. We'll go ahead and hit the stop button now. Well, there you have it, guys. Definitely not a Corvette hater. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Well, now that I'm an honorary member of the Corvette Club, so we'll check out the Corvette Corral behind me. I'm not usually a participant in the food vlogging, but you gotta check out this fried food. 
This is the best thing about the races is the fried food. <laughs> manufacturers which they always bring their best stuff to uh, all these races so I'll give you a quick overview and show you some of the best stuff that all the manufacturers brought today Guys, I'm here with the CL1 1LE this thing is pretty nuts it's really nice carbon fiber work on the spoiler there and also on the hood too But it's really nice in here, even though you do get a pretty limited view out. The shifter feels real nice though. It's a great car. And unlike the GT350R, you can actually get one under sticker. For a real hardcore racer, you get this GT4 version, which is already set up for racing from the factory. Talking about the difference between road tires and race tires over there. So the road tires here, these are the Michelin Pilot Sport Series. This is the all season. Can't really squeeze the tread at all. Over here, this is the rubber they use during the race when it's raining. You can see how squishy the rubber is here. Corvette Corral and now it's time to leave through the Corvette Corral so as it stands right now Corvette's in first place we'll see how the race ends but it seems to be a good race for Corvette right now uh, thanks for watching thanks for coming along for the ride if you uh, would go ahead and leave a like be sure if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video